Apparently, Morgan Freeman's had some scandals, by the way. Yeah, I know about that. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, cave diving. He's, like, not wrong, to be honest. What? He said he's trying to do it. No, not Morgan Freeman. Good Lord. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> I meant Bruce. He said he's going spelunking. Like, he's not lying. I kind of want to watch this over and over again. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. Nah, I mean, it's it's a movie. Um, Six out of ten. No, I'm kidding. Whoa, I'm, kidding. Second, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Dr. Pavel refused to offer in favor of yours. We had to find out what he told you. Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> Bro, I used to watch this movie all the time. <laughs> I'm legit about to choke on my food and die. You saw the title of this video, you clicked on it, you know exactly what we're doing. We're watching three really good movies finally. That's it it's it's been a long time. No, it hasn't actually, but it has. Rachel, let me see. I do want to point out that the first thing that Bruce says in this movie is Rachel. Rachel. He's chasing love. Well, it's something he can't have because he's Batman. Oh my god, we got to do a Mike Cocaine impression the whole fucking time. Yes. Oh, I love not being able to see action. It's very cool. <laughs> it's great, right? I don't like how they uh whitewashed Rachel Ghoul's name. Oh yeah, they're gonna keep saying his name wrong. Oh, hey, it's that ice from Interstellar. They shot at the same location. Oh, was it? Wow. Yep. And that it was this part. This is what they used for the ice planet in Interstellar. And some other movie did it recently, and I forgot which one. These real places, though. What are these you talking locations. about? This, these are CGI backgrounds. It totally looks the same. It's kind of great, honestly. <laughs> Look, this looks like Attack of the Clones. Like, come on. I think this building is either a miniature or CG, but it looks good. Wait, you said you were set with the whitewashing of Rachel Ghoul? Yeah. Are you telling me Christopher Nolan has whitewashed <laughs> characters? Was this the this is, has to be like the first time he's done that, right? Yeah, in this movie, in The Dark Knight Rises, he hit us with the double whammy <laughs> of Bane yeah. and Catwoman. He was like, "Zoe Kravitz, you're too ethnic to play Catwoman." I mean, it probably it might have not have been him, but, you know, his casting people are racist, I guess. Yeah. I like the shot of Alfred coming up right here. Yeah. With the music swelling. Oh, this is a good movie. Look at that. I love how they had one incident on one of the subway lines, and then they were like, you know what? Fuck public transportation forever. <laughs> because this never comes back ever. This whole thing is gone. Where is the blood? <laughs> blood in a Nolan film? What are you crazy? I really love this montage. I really like this location. That was cool. Theatricality and deception. Our powerful agents. To the uninitiated, but we are initiated. Aren't we, Bruce? <laughs> Members of the League of Shadows. Dude, the Dark Knight Rises is gonna be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so people are gonna watch this and think that Rachel Ghoul is uh crazy for having these stances on retributive justice, but this is literally the American criminal justice system. <laughs> yeah. Like, to a T. Especially at the time. I mean, it's like this still, especially mm. with the marginally rising crime rates and how DAs are like, oh, I can, I can finally be crazy again, you know, with an excuse. You think maybe that was intentional? I mean, this is just Raish. He's a dickhead. He's your average Kamala Harris. Notice how the shadows are a lot harsher on Bruce. Mm-hmm. It's a metaphor. For imbalance? Well, for his conflict between anger and guilt. And Raish, he's gone through that journey, so like you could see more of his face, but there's like a clear difference between the shadows being used here and on his face. Superhero movies don't do stuff like that anymore. You mean like real film, like movies? <laughs> like be a movie, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the music is so good in this movie, it's crazy. He kind of looks like his dad. Murder? This is before he knew that he was something more. So this movie, especially, well, at this part in the movie, they, like, take great lengths to explain Batman's no-kill rule. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he literally ends Rachel Ghoul's life. <laughs> <laughs> Does he kill at all any other time in this movie or no? The entire League of Shadows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good scene. This music is a good everything. Oh, and then we're going to cut when he looks at the gun. Ah, it's a good movie, guys. They don't make them like how they used to. Like, ooh, that stock sound effect. I don't know about that. Begged, begged, begged. Like, like a, a dog. dog, like a dog, like a dog. It's almost Christopher Walken-esque. 
He begged like a dog. He shoved it in his ass. It came out of his ass. The dog. It came out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I lost many assumptions about the simple nature of right and wrong. The American brain rot went away when he took one step outside of the country for a second. Interesting. So what's your uh, what's your emotional attachment to this film? When did you see it for the first time? Do you remember, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, I do. The first time I saw this movie was when it came out in theaters. And I specifically remember the Scarecrow sequence, the first one with Falcone in the jail cell, mm -hmm. and being like so triggered by that, that like freaked me out when I first saw that. I was like, nope, that's okay. And it took me a while, I think, maybe like a couple months to get over it. But then I saw the movie. I was like, yeah, this movie's good. It's a great movie. Wait, so you couldn't even watch the movie? You left? No, I didn't leave. I still finished it, but oh. it still haunted me. I did not see Batman Begins in theaters. Ooh, you didn't? No, I did not. And I still haven't. So that's kind of depressing. But I saw this movie like a year or two after this movie came out. And I was like, oh, wow, this movie's good. And I've watched it multiple times over the course of the last 16, nope, 17 years. That's how, uh, uh, <laughs> 17 years. You're old, you. This movie's old. And uh, my opinion on this movie has fluctuated a lot over time. I'm no executioner. I'm no executioner, but I don't have to save you either. <laughs> Killing is bad, guys. Just admit you're weird. Like, taking a life is not good. I show this to my parents without telling them this is a Batman movie, but this this movie gave my dad nightmares. Did it? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it did. Oh, he's just like me. Hey, a black person finally. Jesus Christ! It's almost an hour into the movie. No, they were uh, criminals and poor people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another black guy, but for permanently in the movies. They filled their quota. One Morgan Freeman equals a hundred white people in a Batman movie. I wonder if we'll get a Lucius in the Matt Reeves verse. Kevin Hart is Lucius Fox. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently Morgan Freeman's had some scandals, by the way. Yeah, I know about that. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, cave diving. He's like not wrong, to be honest. What? He said he's trying to do it. No, not Morgan Freeman. Good lord. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I meant Bruce. He said he's going spelunking. Like, he's not lying. <laughs> he thought I meant Morgan I was like, Freeman. wait, what? what is this heel turn in the middle of... What the hell? <laughs> in the Civil War, your great great grandfather was involved in the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad wasn't literally underground, Christopher Nolan. You dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he's not from America. He has no idea. I think he is, though. It, no, he's from Great Britain. Yeah, I know, but his mom is American, which is why his brother has an American accent. Oh. Are you just not a fan of Christopher Nolan, the greatest <laughs> film director of all time? <laughs> I guess I'm just not. Who are you? And then quite separately, we place an order. We place an order. <laughs> Bruce Wayne's just like, I want to come back to Gotham and dress up like a bat and uh, and fight crime. And Alfred's just like, okay. What's that? Oh, the Tumblr? That's just a website that people don't go on anymore. Stace. Oh, no, that's scary. I'd be like, you know what? I'm going home. What? I feel like that crane would be too high for them to see, but whatever, it's fine. I'm suspending my disbelief. Geography was kind of weird. <coughs> God damn, dude, this cough is ridiculous. You got a uh, cough drops on you or no? I took cough syrup yesterday, completely knocked me out for the whole day. It was nuts. I was like, damn, rappers really do be on this shit. It's crazy. Lead and Sprite, that's right. I don't care if it was heroin in my cup. It's in my cup. F you. Oh, it's that part that we always meme in videos sometimes. We always do sometimes. <laughs> Here it is. Where are you? Here. All right, the shells are in, dickhead. Just close the gun. <laughs> um, Batman. That's right. Look at that suit. What if when he headbutted him, his cowl broke because of the task of the house? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. Crack. <laughs> Bruce Wayne? Do this one shot of Batman coming up when he's above all the buildings and stuff? No, oh, this is the one that we see on FX. Like, hey, we're playing Batman Begins at 8 p.m., guys. 
FX has the movies. <laughs> this do be cool, though. I mean, like, <laughs> they know what they're doing. What are you doing? Uh, just swimming. Wow, it is good to see you. People really be like, these movies are joyless, but, like, there's jokes. There's jokes for all those Marvel hogs. It was funny because he was building up a facade, and now he's realizing that he's, like, fucking it up with her, so he's dropping the facade for her. So, so when did the nut, nut take, take over, over the nut, nut house? house? That's, like, not freaky. I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> I have kids to feed. Well, I don't like falafel. Swear to me. <laughs> nice. Cool. See, Zack Snyder, this is real rain. <laughs> Not like that bullshit rain in BBS at the end. That bullshit rain. <laughs> it looks so fake. I'm going to show this scene. And right now, I'm going to cut to BBS. And look at the difference. <laughs> it looks like garbage. I'm seeing it mentally in my head right now. Oh, it's King Joffrey. Goat show until season seven. Till season six, high key. No, nah, the Battle of the Bastards was lit. Yeah, that one episode. Oh, this is crazy. Damn, now Goodness. he's peeing all over himself. He threw him in that mirror with such force. It was crazy. I have a problem with this scene. Is it when he gets lit on fire? Yes. Yep. Yep. I'm <laughs> yeah. pretty sure we've talked about this before, but now we're actually watching it. You need to lighten up. Like his eye right there. Like He just stood there and took it. It was, it was like a stunt. One of these guys, he shows up multiple times throughout this. I think he shows up one more time in another cop car in this sequence. He probably got out and was like, oh, got to go chase him. No, it's like a different character with a, with a different line just waiting in a, in a cop car. Oh, no, it's this guy. I'm sorry, I was mistaken. That keeps showing up? Yeah, he shows up again in a different car. You'll see. I'm sorry for being a dummy. At least tell me what it looks like. Hey, it's that guy. Never mind. I don't know why Christopher Nolan didn't notice that, or maybe he thought we wouldn't notice, or that I wouldn't notice. Damn, he said if he dies, he dies. No guns, but I can use grenades, it's fine. This part's dumb. How do you miss a tank because it turned its <laughs> lights off in a highway? I don't know about that one. Rachel! Master Wayne. He spelled it like he <laughs> says it. <laughs> it's not just your name, sir. It's your father's name. And it's all that's left of him. Don't destroy it. What a powerful scene. My cocaine. God damn. Am I pronouncing this right? Mr. Raz? No, you're not pronouncing it right. It's Raish <laughs> Al Ghul, old lady. Actually, this is the end of the second act. Yeah, this is his lowest moment. Literally. Ooh, yeah. Why do we fall, sir? So that we can learn. To pick ourselves up in it, bruv. Stop giving up on me. Never. Never. Harassment! I see harassment! Well, maybe you'd like to see some excessive force. Hey, hey, Bad hey. man with the gun. Goodness. <laughs> it's like real life. The guy with the blue shirt in the control room, he was the protagonist in following Christopher Nolan's first film. Oh, really? One of the things I hate about the third act is that that control room scene, they say the same information at least three times. Like, they cut Dude. back to it to remind you of what's happening, because apparently we're, we're stupid. Even though Christopher Nolan, everyone's like, he, guys, he doesn't treat us like we're idiots. He respects the audience, blah, blah, blah. This movie, he said, nah, fuck the audience. The audience is stupid. Ooh. He looks a little chunky in that yeah, scene Yeah, right he looks chunky, and the lighting is <laughs> no bueno. If they get their machine into Wayne Station, it'll cause a chain reaction that'll vaporize the entire city's water supply. Covering Gotham in this poison. Okay, they explained it here. Now be mindful of that entire scene that stopped the plot in its tracks to explain what just happened. Yo, Joffrey is tripping balls right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not who I am underneath. But what I do, that, that defines, defines me. me. Bruce? Maybe. But she's like, you didn't answer me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I like when he lands. It looks cool. FX has the movies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You ever see those ABC Family commercials with this movie? A new kind of beginning for a legendary hero. Does it come in black? Does it come in black? He fights for family and lives for love. I never stopped thinking about you. Christian Bale and Katie Holmes, Batman Begins. Does it come in black? Look on a mask of my boy. Oh, it's going with the music. That's cool. Even though I can't see a fucking thing. 
God damn, dude. Film action scenes on a wide shot challenge. Pressure's moving along the mains, blowing all the pipes. And if that pressure reaches us, the water supply right across the whole... <laughs> this is I'm explaining it again. I'm pretty sure it happens one more time, if I'm not mistaken. Even if it doesn't happen again, the fact that it just happened again is obnoxious. Like, we know <laughs> what's happening. This fight is, like, nauseating Loki. <laughs> yeah. It just turns into dumb bullshit. Like, the movie was good, and then the third act was like, what if we were stupid? Evacuate the building. We're right on top of the main hub, and it's gonna blow. <laughs> Christopher Nolan was like, ah, Warner Brothers, they're making me fucking explain what I already explained in the other scene, so can you give me some variety? I'll, I'll pick one. He uses every take. He uses it every take. <laughs> God damn, I can't see a thing. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know what's happening. It's okay. When we see the Bane fight, we're like, damn, look at all the shit we can see. That's cool. If you finally learn to do what is necessary, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. It's dumb. Ugh, I feel like there's a way to make that better. What, him? This whole sequence without Batman being like, I'm a murderer, even though I said I wouldn't murder. He would probably take him, like, out of the train, but... Your real face is the one that criminals now fear. That's right. No cool. way, is that... Cool! Cool! Oh, it's the clown! That's the clown. I never said thank you. Yeah, it's that line. And you'll never have to. Amazing. Batman began. Batman did begin. Is there a post credit scene? No, this is a real movie. <laughs> Talk to me about Batman Begins. This movie is good. It um it has some parts that are kind of not the greatest, but overall it is a nice what's the word? It shows what Batman really is and what he's about. The systems at play and stuff like that and the direction and the camera and the music and it's great and it's cool. Are you trying to say it's a good display of the basics of Batman? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. You got it. You nailed it right on the head. Yeah. Especially with that last line and he was like, and you'll never have to. I felt that like in my chest when he said that, to be honest. I really, 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 really like the first two thirds of this movie. And then once the car chase happens, it starts to not get good. And then once the third act happens, it just falls apart for me. Mm -hmm. No, that makes sense. I feel that. I think we've said everything. What else needs to be said about Batman Begins? It's a good starting off point to The Dark Knight. And The Dark Knight does this, but better in every single way. And I'm giving The Dark Knight, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving, and I'm giving Batman Begins a 7 out of 10. Ooh, me too. Oh, really? Yeah, I was at an 8 long way back when but <laughs> i said you know what this is a nice seven there's more jersey shore on the way and it starts right now all right everybody we're watching quite possibly one of the best american films in america in america so on hbo max they do not do the imax version they don't show the imax shots in imax format so it's just widescreen the whole movie yeah that's a bummer i know Bro, look how clear this image is right now. Good lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. We reviewed this how long ago? Was it like three years ago? Two years ago? Three and a half years ago. Almost four years ago. Since then, it still hasn't changed as being my favorite movie. So let's get it, brother. Your favorite movie of all time ever? Yes. Yes, sir. Goddamn. We both saw this in theaters, correct? Mm-hmm. Opening weekend, I was there. Same. So I did not see this in IMAX until about two and a half years ago literally me too <laughs> it was crazy oh yeah we, yeah you went there the same week right for the 10 year anniversary of the dark knight or some shit yeah in the city let me tell you that was like an emotional experience it was like seeing the movie for the first time again it was crazy i literally ever, cried guys if they ever do it again you have to get tickets right away it's a whole different movie it's crazy when i tell you i was so emotional oh my gosh i'm even thinking about it right now i'm just kind of like i want to do it again <laughs> oh man <laughs> what bus drive that's ridiculous <laughs> the bus wouldn't have that much velocity to do that that's just pure editing but it's fine <laughs> this is a good movie still the investigation is ongoing that's comedy why wouldn't bruce wayne be a top suspect i don't know um i do think it's worth talking about 
how noticeably dark this movie is in comparison to Batman Begins already. Like the mm-hmm. shadows here are a lot more pronounced. They're very they're, harsh, yeah. Yeah, there there isn't as much like fill light throughout. Like they just let the shadows live. It's almost like this is gonna be darker and things bad things are gonna happen. It's not like dark is in the title too, so I don't know. Maybe there's only one of you. What is the geography of this part? Yeah, it makes no sense. It's so weird. <laughs> the Batmobile comes from, like, the ceiling. <laughs> the bat guys are everywhere. I don't even know where these things are. Where the fuck is this? And Batman's just standing here. Yep. I totally didn't see that. Look at the geography. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> what is happening? He's, He's just, just standing, standing there. there. He's walking down with his gun. I can't see anything outside of my crosshairs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scarecrow's dead. <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pants. People really do be like, this trilogy has no jokes. Yeah, right? But like... I mean, did you not see that action scene? This movie has so many jokes. Like, why the fuck did no one see him (laughs) standing there? (laughs) This is like the Monty Python of Batman movies. It just looks kind of ridiculous in full light. What? (laughs) Batman. (laughs) (laughs) Stop putting Batman in full light challenge. Impossible difficulty. Directors, please stop. (laughs) Please. Put him in shadows exclusively. Oh, hell no, the next movie is just him fighting in broad <laughs> <the> daylight. daylight. <laughs> this part's crazy. He has a gun already in the sea. God damn, Maggie Gyllenhaal. You know, it's cr- I've seen some Twitter tweets about these fucking people being like, Harvey Dent and Batman were fighting over her or whatever. And it's like, come on, if she hit on you, you wouldn't say no. So shut up. Why are you guys <laughs> acting different? Right? Permission to treat the witnesses hostile. Granted. Hostile? hostile? I'll show you hostile. 28 caliber, Maine, China. If you want to kill a public servant, Mr. Maroney, I recommend you buy American. Hell yeah, brother. (laughs) That's right. This is a hog movie for hogs, okay? (laughs) Batman's a cop, Gordon's a cop, Dent's a cop, Rachel Dawes is a cop. Everyone in this movie is a cop, except for Joker. That's why it's my favorite movie, brother. I like the lighting on Harvey's, like, entire body. We all know you've got some white knight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, White knight. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Movies can be made. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese. More like Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese. More like Mr. E. Edward Edward Nigma. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and this scene is good, too. Oh, so many iconic scenes. God, she's so cute. What the heck? Twitter, you're all dumb. (laughs) You're all so stupid. Look at her. You either die a hero. I heard that horn in the background. Shh, that didn't happen. It was like, you either die a hero, beep. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and by the way, the suit, it wasn't cheap. You ought to know, you bought it. Uh, half. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing a reading of The Dark Knight. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) If we don't deal with this now, soon, a little uh, gamble gamble here. here. Won't, won't be able, able to, to get, get a, nickel a nickel for his grandma. grandma. Enough, Enough from the club. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's, Let's not, not blow. blow. <laughs> Miss that out of proportion. <laughs> you think you could steal from us? You think you could just steal from us and walk away? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Five hundred grand for this clown dead. A million alive. So I could teach you some manners first. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? I'll get him to sing. This morning, or I guess yesterday, technically, the Biden administration went into a foreign country and murdered the new leader of ISIS Mm -hmm. because America could just do whatever the fuck it wants. Imagine if, like, Canada or, like, Germany came in here and just killed, like, a Nazi, like a neo-Nazi in Alabama or some (laughs) shit. We did an operation in Alabama where we murdered uh, Hillbilly Jim or some dumb (laughs) shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but we do that everywhere, and so Batman's about to go do some American exceptionalism, brother. Rottweilers or chihuahuas should do fine against cats. Nobody's like, oh, Bruce Wayne from Gotham left the country when Lau comes back? He comes to me with a knife. Why so so serious? Why so serious? We're going to cut away from the death anyway. It's a PG-13 film. No blood either? (laughs) A really whack sound effect. But in The Dark Knight Rises, he does this scene a lot better when he kills what's-his-name, Ben Mendelsohn. Did we ever get um, Batfleck flying like this? I don't remember. I, 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 the only thing I can remember from Batfleck is, like, murder, so. <laughs> He's getting a little bit better with the action, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, you can actually see things that are happening. It stayed in one spot throughout that whole sequence instead of cutting every millisecond. Starting to die. I'm a man of my word. 
Hoo hoo ha 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 ha. He said hoo hoo ha. <laughs> Harvey may not know you well enough to understand when you're making fun of him, but I do. No, I'm in every word. The chemistry that Maggie Gyllenhaal and Christian Bale have is way better than his chemistry with Katie Holmes. Imagine Katie Holmes in this movie. You must be Harvey's squeeze. Hmm? And you are beautiful. Yeah, right, Joker? Joker has taste, see? Unlike Twitter, Joker, the Joker has taste, okay? Fucking idiots. It's like, and it's also kind of misogynistic too, because just because you don't find someone attractive doesn't mean that other people wouldn't want to desire them and you can't believe that someone would fall in love with somebody, like just because you don't want to fuck them. That just means that you don't respect women, dumbass. It's true. Why is Batman at Bruce Wayne's house? <laughs> he had to have, like, walked past the people. Excuse me, excuse me. They should have made it like a grand entrance, like he flies from the ceiling or something. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine being like a normal person at this party. <laughs> dude, the, there's a clown and a dude that stresses a bat and they're fighting. And they should be dead. In one cut, the velocity just changes for some reason. Yeah, it's super weird. <laughs> the people around them. Oh my god, it's Batman. This is 2008. Did we have iPhones? Uh, I think they came out in 2007, but what did Joker do after that? Did he just give up or... One day, I saw a child playing with a ruby the size. the size of a tangerine. Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men. Some men just want to watch the world burn by giving out things for free. Sounds like socialism to me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alfred the Chud, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who murders is exactly like the guy who gives away rubies for free. What a fucking monster. We're filming the right thing, not politicize the right thing. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do the right thing wasn't political, guys. The movie we're using as our name. I love making that same joke over and over again with no variation whatsoever. It's fucking awesome. See, this is the ideal way to shoot Batman in darkness. Give me some silhouettes. Give me some eye lights, you know? Not in the daytime. Remember that one shot of Batman in BVS where he's like in the corner of the room, just like <laughs> chilling? Doing some Spider-Man shit. Lord Snyder really thought he was uh, doing something with that. Even if it was daytime, I feel like Batman would try to create a situation, you know, where it's dark in the room. Whether he takes out the lights, he closes the curtains or some bullshit. Ooh, Joker was in the center of the frame right there. Hiding in plain sight. Who was he? I didn't even see him. Good job. <laughs> he could have killed Bruce right there. If he if he got the auto aim right, if he quick scoped him and just auto aimed his ass. With the shot of Batman coming up, the best. Hell yeah. Love it. Oh my gosh. It's so good. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. What, what makes, makes you think, you think I want to hear you talk? Oh. Man, he's really good with the ladies. Best rat knows how to treat him. I can trust Bruce Wayne. Now, Rachel, come on. I know you're his Harvey, friend, but... trust me. Bruce's penthouse is now the safest place in the city. Even though Joker literally just infiltrated it like a couple of days ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Paul wouldn't kill me. I'm counting on it. Oh! Ah! Insane. Goddamn, look at her looking at him. Look at this lighting on their faces cool oh god this is that scene oh this is the <laughs> hog scene <laughs> the hogs are about to get riled up no, no more, more dead, dead cops. cops yeah oink oink <laughs> oink <laughs> <laughs> he should turn himself in he's not being a hero he's being something more god damn she's beautiful what the hell guys <laughs> you look at her in this lighting are you kidding look at what the hair and makeup did to her face and her hair come on imagine thinking mostly anybody in a movie after the year 2000 is ugly come on guys <laughs> jesus christ they used to have ugly people in movies but that doesn't happen anymore everyone has perfect teeth everyone is beautiful okay i can't believe people really think this movie's boring like it's really shocking there are people who think this movie's boring yes like who there's a lot of them. Your, your, your dumbass friends? <laughs> no, not that I know of. Oh, okay, I was about to say. All right, they're not dumbasses anymore. I just presumed. This dude's dead, by the way. Yeah, probably. He died in the hospital three weeks later after being in a coma and couldn't afford healthcare. <laughs> so we pulled the plug. Notice how this scene is not using music at all? Mm-hmm. It's very cool. More action scenes to do this. Oh my god, he's just destroying cars. 
<laughs> God damn, dude. He's just upending people's lives. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Bro, how am I going to get to work tomorrow? <laughs> I have to pay my bills. Well, depending on the time, he can be in one spot or several. Goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is when we see the camera in the reflection for like two <laughs> frames. I got so upset when I noticed it. <laughs> Rules, and you think they'll save you. <laughs> I saw it. I'm gonna watch Heath Ledger win this Oscar really quick. Goodness! <laughs> One lie for the other. Your friend, the district attorney, or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> <sighs> that top note, that cream, pure vanilla, sweeteners. Mm, that's a 10. The lighting, do you get it? His side is light and hers is in darkness. The two sides. The way she's lit is what the one of the coins ends up looking like later in the film. It's art. He is permanently stained by this moment in his life. He will never be the same. Rachel! Dude, this part, her acting here. Guys, Heath Ledger's the only good part about this movie. Come on, come on. Some Ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, that's insane. Breaks your heart. That coin, it was made in 1922, and it's 2022. <laughs> oh. God damn, the stars are aligning for all these Batman movies. It's crazy. That bandit in the forest in Burma. Did you catch him? Yes. How? We burned the forest down. Yikes. Guys, he said capitalism was bad and gave away rubies for free, and he was a monster, so we burnt down the entire forest near the village. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Aaron Eckhart, underrated in this movie. I know I said that like four years ago, but God damn, it still applies. Yeah. I'm about to just put in front of the screen some movies that Aaron Eckhart has been in that's really good, that he's really good in. Yeah, he was in uh, I, Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Middle of the day, Alfred. Not very subtle. The Lamborghini Den. Much more subtle. He said middle of the day, not so subtle. Very good. Very <laughs> Even good. Even though he did that in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> okay. Sir, could you help? Uh, no, I'm a hog. The sequence is just chaos. Yeah. It's crazy. Almost like it's a theme of the movie. Well, you think I should go to the hospital? You don't watch a whole lot of news, do you, Mr. Wayne? Haha, <laughs> comedy. Joyless. See, it waited at least 15 minutes to, like, insert, like, a real joke, you know, after something tragic happened, not jokes, like, two minutes later. Not even two minutes, like, 30 seconds. A main character dies. Cut. Jokey jokes, joke, jokey jokes, <laughs> I'm in the Marvel movie. <laughs> Ooh, that CG looks crazy in 4K. <laughs> crazy bad? No, crazy good. It helps that the back of his head is in darkness. Mm -hmm. That was fully lit. It look, uh, look a little iffy. This movie does a really good job at including the city and making the city feel alive in a way that the other films do not or that even most films don't. Mm -hmm. But they don't give them the importance. I mean, it's important. Like this whole sequence right here is important, but it's not really about them. It's like the repercussions and the implications of each character that they represent mm -hmm. that matter. I have to save Dent. Goddamn, the music. Oh, Hans Zimmer spitting. First film with Batman having the white eyes. And he hasn't killed anybody yet, so allegedly. This no, is... he killed <laughs> that, uh... Allegedly. Allegedly! allegedly. Damn, he's beating their asses. <laughs> he said, let me see your neck. You're never <laughs> moving again. This Batman's kind of brutal. Oh, this is great. When he fights the cops, yeah. Hell yeah, kick their ass, yeah. Antifa Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this part is amazing. This whole movie is amazing. I love it. You're just trying to watch your favorite movie ever, and I'm just trying to make <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Imagine if Heath Ledger didn't die. Right? Ugh. Ugh. He could have been in The Dark Knight Rises. He could have been in, like, other movies and lived a life. And been able to see, like... I mean, not the bad stuff about, like, how, like, you know, sickos took his performance and, like, were like, I am the Joker now, or some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd be able to see the recognition that he deserved for this. Because I'd hope that, you know, if he didn't die, that he would have gotten the recognition anyway. There won't be any fireworks. And, and here, here we, we go. go. No one's got the balls to do it. Because it's wrong. Murder is bad. That's right. You're about to know what that feels like, Gordon. Then you can look me in the eye 
<laughs> the music here. This is one of my favorite tracks from the, the score. There is no escape from this. You don't want to hurt the boy, Harvey. Ooh, what a commanding presence. Good lord. Please punish me. I'm about to. Tell your boy it's going to be all right, Gordon. Lie. Like I lied. Good lord. God damn, this is so sad. So I'm watching this this part, right? And it's so essential to the story. It makes me even wonder why people would even say that this part's unnecessary to begin with. The Joker wasn't one of the main characters. He was the supporting character. He was he's the catalyst for all the stuff that happens. But remember that twirling shot on top of the MCU of the three of them like arguing about what to do. Yeah. That is the core relationship, the core dynamic in the film. And this is the fallout of everything that the Joker has placed on them. So this is beyond necessary. This is how you're supposed to end the movie. It makes me wonder like how media illiterate people are. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> How are you watching the movie but not watching the movie? This is a blockbuster film. It's not hard to interpret at all. People are stupid, you know. That's what I can be. No, no, you can't. You're not. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. That's right. <laughs> I can be a fascist and then on a symbol of a guy who did bad shit. And I won't have to take the fallout because I'm just a billionaire and this isn't really me. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Sometimes people deserve to have their faith rewarded. That's right! Oof, this ending hits me in my heart. He didn't do anything wrong. Yes, he did. Shut up, kid. You don't know anything. He's a silent guardian. A watchful protector. Say it with me, baby. A, a dark, dark night. night. Yeah, movie. Let's say everything that's been said. Go ahead. 10 out of 10. I'm already there. This is my favorite movie ever. So you already know. Even um, though we were pointing out flaws in the, yeah, of course, and yeah. the filmmaking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it's still a 10 out of 10 in my heart. Got a little emotional at the end. I said, hell yeah, brother, in my heart and stuff like that. The camera work and stuff, the overall technical aspects are great. Performances are great. Besides that one dude who says no more dead cops. Some of the logic was kind of iffy, but it doesn't matter made me smile i kind of want to watch this over and over again i don't know <laughs> maybe i'm crazy Nah, i mean it's it's a movie um six out of ten no i'm kidding Whoa, i'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um this is uh this is a very important movie uh in terms of the history of movies and uh my heart and this is one of the first really moving experiences i've had i ever had in a movie theater mm -hmm. me too for sure and then it's crazy. This movie is so good that if you watch it in a different format, you get to have an even more moving experience, you know, over a decade later. It's crazy. It's the power of cinema. Mm -hmm. Oh, in memory of our friend Heath Ledger. Oh, sad. Okay, dokey. That made me sad. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Heath Ledger gives one of the best performances in a movie ever. Aaron Eckhart is incredible in this movie, watching his arc. Uh, Christian Bale went off King. I don't care about the voice. I think it's cool. And uh, yeah, cinematography, way different from Batman Begins and more in keeping with like 70s films and definitely influential to today. And it's impressive that they got these shots with the amount of darkness that they did with film because with digital it's so much easier to do mm -hmm. i do think that the politics and the fact that this is a fascist uh power fantasy is kind of weird and but it, <laughs> but it is very in keeping with the times in the middle of the bush administration and patriot act and all the badness so it's definitely worth re-examining on that level but as a film, I think it is supremely watchable, and I think there's still room for people to get the right lessons from this movie. And I'm giving The Dark Knight a 9 out of 10. Never moving, it's a 9, buddy. If this movie ever comes back to IMAX, everybody please go see it immediately. It's the grand finale. Arguably the most controversial film in this trilogy, and if you think we're going to talk about it instead of quote the entire film verbatim... You are wrong. <laughs> we will be quoting this movie the entire time. This is the most quotable comic book movie ever made. Fact. <laughs> the Masked Man. Bane. First one who talks gets to say on my aircraft. What a line reading. Remember the, uh... Dishy, dishy, bashana, bashana. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's ringing back uh, memories. Why does he wear the mask?
Oof, that was a weird jump cut. <laughs> Dr. Pavel refused our offer in favor of yours. We had to find out what he told you. Nothing! I said nothing! <laughs> Bro, I used to watch this movie all the time. I'm legit about to choke on my food and die. <laughs> Did you see this in IMAX or no? Nope. I saw this at the Regal in our town, midnight. Ooh, me too. I didn't see it midnight, but was it crazy? Were people clapping or was it just mid? It was a normal experience, except for in the beginning of the film, the trailer for Django played and it froze right when Jamie Foxx was about to say, the D is silent. <laughs> and, uh, and it stayed like that for like 10 minutes and that was a thing. But yeah, when I saw this movie, I thought that this was better than The Dark Knight, and it was my new favorite movie of all time. And that was, was me too. Was stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was me too. I saw this, I think, three times in theaters. Using your own parents' money, but that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this city is without organized crime because the Dent Act gave law enforcement teeth in its fight against the mob. Now, people are talking about repealing the Dent Act. Why would you want to repeal the Dent Act? It's bad because what are they doing in jail? We're gonna get some rehabilitation? No. They're just sitting in there, and the only people who are benefiting from it is the prison industrial complex. That's it. The owners of these companies who do private prisons and blah, blah, blah. And that's it. But that's not what Christopher Nolan meant, brother. Oh, no, I forgot! Go ahead. Her death scene. I wasn't thinking about it this whole time. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We were talking about beautiful people. We cut to Marion Cotillard. I was like, of course, look at her. Are you kidding? And then I looked at her and then I remember two hours from now, I'm going to be screaming <laughs> at the top of my lungs. Oops. Nobody told me it was uncrackable. With the piano in the back, the doo -doo -doo. Yeah, both Catwoman themes absolutely slap. Hips don't lie, Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Did you see the um the MTV Movie Awards the year this movie came out? They were like praising Nolan. Yep, I remember. <laughs> they did it before the movie came out. Then the movie came out and then it was like, hmm, why do we do that? That's why it was at the MTV Movie Awards. Man, great, great to remember Heath in that moment. Wonderful to see Heath Ledger there. Um... <laughs> I guess Zoe Kravitz was too urban to play this or whatever. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I still cannot believe it. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of the wrong R word. <laughs> kind of racist. <laughs> Ooh, Hans. I think this uh, score is better than the previous one. It might be. We gotta keep going. I think it gets better with every movie. I think that's the, it's one of the few things that improves. Someone get this hot head out of here. And where's that DWP guy? There's no one behind the camera at all. We were so excited. Bruce Wayne. Billionaire orphan. I don't know, is that kind of lame? Uh, this one cop knowing <laughs> who Batman is. <laughs> yeah. Might be time to get some fresh air. Start paying attention to the details. Some of those details might need your help. Ooh, who wrote that? <laughs> Look at Bruce Wayne just casually going to the doctor's office, getting some x-rays done, no big deal, you know? <laughs> no skin off his back, he could just go for the lulls, you know? This is like that scene from the other movie that we watched. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. A mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. A kiss can be even deadlier if you mean it. I'll eat something and I'll mean something. <sighs> There's no fresh start in today's world. Any 12-year-old with a cell phone could find out what you did. Everything we do is collated and quantified. Everything sticks. God, that's such the dumbest, that's the dumbest shit on planet Earth. What, cancel culture? Yeah, people pretending that, like, cancel culture just isn't public shaming, renamed, rebranded, and, like, people don't engage in it all the time. This is not a new phenomenon. This is actually terrorism. What were the other two movies? <laughs> You're right. Oh, my Dogecoin, oh no! <laughs> Stock exchange. There's no money you can steal. Really? really? Then why are you people here? here? Every line. Every line by Bane. Every time he talks. My brain goes, let me remember that for the rest of my life. Oh, that's an interesting shot. The motorcycle's going to the right, the camera's going to the left. That was nice. My fascist king is back. <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah, that's right. Who do you want to catch on? Huh? Some robber or the son of a bitch who killed Harvey Dent? I mean, he did kill Harvey Dent. He did do that. He <laughs> did end his life. God damn, the music is hitting. It is hitting. I feel it in my chest. 
Where did that come from? Because the bat pod was like behind him. It passed. <laughs> yeah, you saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it just appeared, even though it came from nowhere. The rules of logic do not apply to Batman, I guess. He's on a bridge. <laughs> like a rat in a trap, gentlemen. Uh, sir. Damn it, sir is at the end of the line. I thought it was at the. I thought it was in the beginning. God damn it, I goofed. Where is it? The clean slate. The clean slate? You mean that thing I'm gonna explain three times in this movie? Oh, I forgot about the, the the fight choreography in this movie. Oh yeah, there's this one guy, right? This one guy on the left of the, the frame. People, he like yeah, he, just he just falls, falls. over <laughs> to the left. Oh, there he is. He fell. Another warned me about getting into cars with strange men. This, this isn't a car. Is car. <laughs> <laughs> this movie kind of does cater to <laughs> teenage boys. I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of like nonsense in a way. <laughs> Batman without the mask on in in the suit, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. And what, what if, if to spare you the pain? To spare you pain. <laughs> I burned that letter, that letter, bro. Goodbye, Alfred. Alfred. He said goodbye, Alfred. Five minutes later, Alfred. <laughs> oh, here comes her Irish accent. Free clean energy for an entire city. Free clean energy for an entire city. I'm also a leprechaun. <laughs> Is that problematic? I don't, it might be. <laughs> Look at all these white people. Well, they're not too urban for the role, so. Oh, wait, no, there's a black woman right there. Oh, it's that scene. Okay, so this scene, side by side with the... Uh, you want to know how I got these scars scene or from the previous one with the pool stick? Mm -hmm. We're going to see the cutaway when Bane kills him. So much better. Stay here. I'm in charge. Do you Do feel in charge? Pure evil. I'm necessary evil. Ooh. See that cut? So much better than that bullshit they did in The Dark Knight. The idea was to be a symbol. That man could be anybody. Damn, he's just confessing to being Batman in this cop car. We got him, boys! Where'd they get that picture from? That was kind of... Promotional material? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? The box art on the DVD or something like that? Wasn't that the scene where he was like, you either die a hero, you live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Isn't that from that scene? I bet you if you Google it, you could probably like find it right away. All right, that picture was the 11th picture when I looked up Maggie Gyllenhaal, Dark Knight. <laughs> Same picture. <laughs> Why is he up there? Because he's Batman. I know it's cool, but like, you're wasting time. You made a serious mistake. Not as serious as yours. I fear. I fear. This is the best fight scene in Batman history and movies. This has cost you your strength. Victory has defeated you. That's a good ass line. Victory has defeated you? I mean, he's just spitting bars. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, this is cool. When he comes down the chain, hell yeah. Dude, look at those muscles. God damn. <laughs> He's so huge. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. But, but we, we are initiated. initiated. Aren't we, Bruce? Members, members of the League of, of Shadows. Shadows. The, Shadows. the Shadows betray, betray you, you because, because they, they belong to me. me. What a badass line. That's just a line reading of The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, this part is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I remember this scene in theaters when Bane's talking to him. I'm, I was sitting there like, what? He's like softer in the scene. I'm like, what are you saying? How good of you to join us. Chair. Chair. President. President. All I All need I now is now one is more ordinary, ordinary board, board member. member. Mr. Mr. Fox, Fox, would you like you to like dominate? dominate? No, no, I volunteer. I will volunteer. Oh, that's Joey King. Yeah, that's the kissing booth. It's all connected. Did you know that, or did you just realize that now? I, like, low-key just realized that now, but uh, I knew it in the past whenever I saw this before, but... That boy is going to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful voice. That's a lovely, lovely voice. Fuck. Got the, got the line wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Really? Lovely, lovely Bane? Come on. I wonder if this kid dies. <laughs> what if he hit the bomb right there? <laughs> and the kid just blows up! <laughs> the Batman didn't murder Harvey Dent, he saved my boy! By murdering Harvey Dent. Oh no, the people who withhold the profits from the working class, oh no! 
the people who are actually going to be able to live their lives off of social security. Look at that. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, so this part people get upset about, but I think it's fine. Do you have a problem with this scene? Do you, they fix his, his vertebrae? It's something. Okay, I'm going to tell you why I think it's fine. Okay, so... They just took a risk here, right? By putting his vertebrae back in place. I mean, that could have paralyzed him for good. Oh, wait, hold on. God damn it. The story, the movie is moving and I can't even explain. So they had a 50-50 shot of that vertebrae punch not working, right? But it did. And when it comes to like body issues like this and be like, well, he's just able to stand and do blah, blah, blah. And, you know, whatever. When someone brings up that argument you know they've never seen professional wrestling before. <laughs> okay? Because I have seen matches where wrestlers have literally irreparably damaged their bodies and then wrestle for another three months. Mm -hmm. An example I have of this is uh, Kurt Angle. He was an Olympic gold medalist for real in the Atlanta Olympics in 1996. He won that with a messed up neck. But in 2003, he took a bump on the turnbuckle, which is the corner, and he hit his neck too hard and he whiplashed and he cracked three vertebrae on his neck and then he wrestled a 30 minute match a month or two later at wrestlemania in the main event with brock lesnar so i think it's plausible that batman was able to do all of this uh with a messed up vertebrae and uh he doesn't really like fall or do anything crazy in this except for you know when he attempts to make the jump get out so yeah, yeah. But that's, so basically, he was the real life Batman, is what you're saying. He was Perk Angle. He was taking Percocets after matches. You've have you ever had a pill without water before? Yeah, I have. I had one today actually without water. He was eating like 25 pills a day, just crunching them. No water. Oh gosh. And then two went ran into four, four ran into eight. I was taking 65 extra strength Viking in a day. That's that could kill a horse. I'm saying that all of this is plausible. I think people underestimate the human body when they have to do something and hang them for the world to see. Hang them where the world can see. Where the world can see. Oh yeah, I got it wrong, Drats. Damn, it only took you an hour and 50 minutes. <laughs> when I saw this for the first time, part of me was like afraid that he wasn't gonna make the jump. Like, I was along for the ride. I truly didn't believe he would make the jump. Like that's how good the first watch was for me. I was like, there's no way he can do it. And then the bats, I started to cry here. You did? Yeah, some fucking nostalgia. Yeah, this movie had me like a baby the first time I saw it. Are you kidding? This is the end of Batman. My Batman. Death. Death. Looks that way. Very well. Death. <laughs> By exile. Bring her to me. I mean, think of the timeline. Her having to be brought all the way back here while they're being brought to exile, and then he has to dress up as Batman and do all this shit. <laughs> yeah. They had to walk all the way over here, all the way to the outskirts by the docks to go back to the bridge to do, like, what? <laughs> they're just wasting time. <laughs> Jim Gordon has time, you know? Oh my God, and they went to the roof? Jesus, they're just taking their <laughs> sweet time. Oh, they do exile at night, I guess. I guess, whatever. No, because the other dude, yeah, so why did they take the time? Why don't they just do it immediately? Isn't that what a sentencing hearing is? You you do the, the verdict, and then you wait for the sentencing, and then it just, from there on, is the sentence. Like, you just serve your time or your exile, <laughs> like, immediate. Like, that's the point of a sentencing hearing. He paints the basketball on the bridge. <laughs> he had time for that. No one saw him fly up there and do it. You saw the dude on the left fall? Yeah. The mask's not for you. It's to protect the people you care about. I like this shot. Batman in the daytime. I imagine if this ended at night, that'd have been so cool. <laughs> yeah. Or when he rides off into the, the sea, it's sunrise, it'd be cool. It would have been cool. It would have been a metaphor. That would have been nice. Wish we got that. Yeah, Christopher Nolan, what the fuck? This kind of nonsense too. But then they also have rifles. Yeah, the League of Shadows has assault rifles. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> they're just shooting the ground, I guess. No one's getting shot. Just shooting at the ground. No one's dying. Okay, that one guy. Look at Robin's face when the kid is like, is it him? It always makes me laugh. Is he back? Keep your eyes off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these extras in the background? Not it. The gauntlets are unstoppable. But I know how you got these. I don't know why he just doesn't open with the gauntlets on site with everybody. <laughs> He'd probably kill them. 
<laughs> when has that ever stopped this Batman? <laughs> she looked away and stabbed him. That was G. You ever see that college humor video? Oh, we totally had sex. Yes, I, I know. No, like, hardcore. Three times. I could not forgive my father. Until you murdered him. She's right. He did do that. This is why murdering is bad. 11 minutes? Wait a second. There's no way this all happens in 11 minutes. How much time has passed already? Like, three minutes? <laughs> yeah, right. There's eight minutes left? Maybe? That's not even enough time to get six miles away, brother. To get into the bat and then take the bomb and... <laughs> <laughs> Gotham is dead. You'll, You'll just have, have to imagine, to imagine the, fire. the fire. No, that's kind of that's kind of whack. Bane was like the main villain. About the whole no guns thing, I'm not sure I feel as strongly about it as you do. That's right, Batman. Guns are good. You never know when your girlfriend's boyfriend's gonna be like, you'll just have to imagine the fire. Christopher Nolan's kind of a chud. <laughs> just a little bit. A tiny bit? I mean, he is half American, so he's got that chud tendency. It's in there. That Amara brain. JGL eats this part. He has a feast here. We get that bomb here, and he's got 10 minutes. Ten oh, you're minutes. a liar, Morgan Freeman. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was a minute and 40 seconds? Get out of here. <laughs> it was a minute. It was, <laughs> it was 10 minute. minutes, 30. <laughs> she did that whole explanation. Everything. That was a minute. And then we just cut 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah, he ate that part. Good job, JGL. Is he dodging it? I don't understand what's happening because he didn't move really. <laughs> he just, he moved his head inside of the cockpit. Does that mean that? <laughs> that means he dodged it. <laughs> I guess. The nuke doesn't go off, I guess. The nuke is fine. Time so doesn't jump. Gary Oldman. Yeah, Gary, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, his arm is hurt, I guess. My father's work is done. I just realized that um, this is the 10 year anniversary of this film in July already. Oh yeah. 10 years. We've talked about this before with other films involving nuclear bombs and just exploding in the water and it being fine, but this would not work. <laughs> it would still be bad. He's also still in it like when it's out there. I guess that shot of him in the cockpit was to fool the audience and he wasn't there and he was like, <laughs> I know that there's an audience watching me. I see the lives for which I lay down my life. Peaceful, useful, prosperous, and happy. But we're gonna get some radiation. We're gonna fucking die. They, they know. know. It was, it was the, Batman. the Batman. God damn, Gary Oldman just doing magic. Mm. I kind of think this movie like falls apart in the third act. Agreed. There's so many things at the end of this movie that don't make any sense. The literal, like, last minute was just a giant missed opportunity. So, like, watching it on HBO Max here, without looking at it in the IMAX scenes, this is a mm -hmm. 6. But when you watch it on Blu-ray with the IMAX shit, it's a 7. It just looks so good to me. That might be it, because I'm kind of, like, at the same thing. I'm at a 6 right now. My original was a 7. I've been getting a lot of diminishing returns from it, and I think mm -hmm. I'm only going to watch this with the Blu-ray version from now on. It all comes down to the aesthetics, like, really, with this movie. Mm -hmm. You know what, fuck it, it's a six. But it's so quotable and fun. I think that's just because we were we were teenage boys when we saw it, and it was, like, our lives. You merely adopted the Dark Knight. I was born in it, molded by it. Hans Zimmer went off. He he did his thing. How would you rank the films, etc.? Uh, Dark Knight, Batman Begins, and then Rises, I think. I am going to end the video, but I'm not going to tell you to hit the like button if you like this video. And if you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. <laughs> do all the things. Follow us on Letterboxd. That was a terrible transition, but hey. It's okay. You don't subscribe to this channel for good transitions. You subscribe for bad takes. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other people make movies.